Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about number one from the 2011 Calc AB exam, and it's a distance velocity problem. It's calculator active, um, and I think it's not going to be that bad. So let's see. In part A, we are told, we are at, so we're given the velocity, we're given the acceleration. You're actually given both of those as functions. The reason they do that is if you don't have a CAS, um, finding the acceleration as a function might be a problem for you, so they're just handing it to you. Um, we are asked, um, is the speed decreasing or increasing or decreasing at t equals 5.5? Give a reason for your answer. So the first thing you should do is define your function. So here's what it looked like for me. I defined v of t colon equals, and I got it done. I just took the derivative because I didn't want to type it in, but then I checked it by um, just asking, like, what did you get for a of t? And it got the function that I was looking for. So is the speed of the particle increasing or decreasing at t equals 5.5? So I'm gonna have to find the velocity at 5.5, and I'm gonna have to find the acceleration at 5.5. And so again, calculator, so just punch them in, and let me jot those down. So three decimal places always. This question is a little weird because it doesn't give you units for the velocity and acceleration. Um, so like there's nothing you can do there, but now we want to state our answer so since v of 5.5 and a of 5.5 have the same sign, the speed is increasing at t equals 5.5. Anytime they have the same sign, speed will be increasing. Anytime it's opposite signs, speed will be decreasing. All right, the next question is, find the average velocity of the particle for the time period from zero to six. So average velocity, when we have the velocity function, is gonna be the average value of the velocity function. So that's what we're trying to do here. And um, that's gonna be the integral divided by the interval. So the integral from zero to six over six minus zero. Um, and then that gives me on the calculator about 1.949. And again, there are no units, so that's our answer. The next question. Uh, find the total distance traveled by the particle from the time t equals zero to t equals six. So total distance traveled is uh, the integral of the absolute value of the velocity function. And again, calculator. So this is what my calculator gave me. And I'm gonna jot that down. This would be great if you walk into the AP exam and this is the first question on your exam, like. That's, that's, that's a good year. Um, that's all that question asked for, so let's move on. From zero to six, the particle changes direction exactly once. Find the position of the particle at that time. All right, so you can only turn around when um, V of T is equal to zero, so I need to like figure out when that happens. Um, because if you look at the velocity function that we're given, V of t can never be undefined. Also, I mean, in general, like velocity won't be undefined. Um, so according to the calculator, I graphed this, graphed it as a function of x, otherwise nothing will show up. Found the intersection. Uh, I graphed a zero also and did menu 814 for me because I have a CX2. If you have a CX, um, it's just menu 813. Got that, stored it as T1 and so V of T equals zero at T is approximately 5.19552. I like to write a lot of decimals if I can. And then we are going to find, so what do we know? We know that at T equals zero, X of zero equals two. So I had stored that. Um, so I'm gonna say since X of zero is two, I can use like an accumulation function idea. So I'm gonna say that x of 5.196, so I'm rounding there, is gonna be two plus the integral from uh, zero, not zero to two, that's, that's, that's an error, let me fix that. Let's see, uh, two plus the integral from zero to 5.196, is what I wanted, a little mistake there. Um, but let's see if I did it right on the calculator. Um, I did, so because I had stored it on the calculator, I saved myself there. Um, so I'm gonna write down 
that uh, x of 5.196 is approximately 14.135. And uh, that's it. That was the entire question on the exam. Uh, I hope you found this helpful and good luck.